many people use cognitive science and sometimes they use your own work which i have seen and you know sometimes they use your terms like hyperactive agency de- detection device cost signaling theory and many others uh, or some kind of adaptationist theory or byproduct theory and people try to show that cognitive science has explained away all religion all together or they have explained away god they've explained away all of this what do you as a cognitive scientist yourself think about this yeah that's just not true <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's the best <laughs> yeah the- Not true. No, I, I completely <laughs> reject that. Just because you've identified what are the cognitive mechanisms that lead to people having certain kinds of beliefs doesn't mean they don't have good reasons for having those beliefs. It doesn't mean those beliefs aren't true. There's a cognitive science of why it is I think I have been drinking tea this whole time. <laughs> And it doesn't yeah. mean I'm not drinking tea. Yeah, right. So there's that's just we just have to be very careful about this most people who think that the cognitive science of religion has explained away if you look carefully at their argument they have engaged in what philosophers call question begging that is they've assumed what it is that they're trying to explain so they assume there are no gods now they do the cognitive science of religion they turn to that and say see no gods and like well you started with no gods you didn't conclude right. that from the science you presumed that from the very beginning so let's back it up and not be quite so uh, triumphalistic oh you who are trying to explain away uh, we're not there it's not clear at all that we'll ever get there um, and even if we did back to my first point that doesn't mean that you that these are not realities that we're accurately perceiving 